طيب بسم الله والحمد لله ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الله وعلى اله واصحابه ومن ولا اما بعد طيب so last lesson um anybody uh give us an idea what was one of the rules that we studied in the last lesson inna indeed uh in la allah la allah la allah jayid so we started off with the rule of inna and we said inna tufid at-tawkid that its benefit is that it gives emphasis to the word that comes after it for example we would say we would say Allahu Rahimun Allahu Rahimun um, which translates as Allah is ever merciful and when we add inna to the sentence Abdul Qayyum what does it do to the word that comes after it um, it takes a uh, fatta um, we say inna tansibu al-isma wa tarfa'u al-khabar that it makes the ism which is Allah take a fatha so we remove the dhamma and it has a fatha inna Allah rahimun and rahim the khabar of inna stays the same marfu' with a dhamma naam uh, jade as we see this mentioned uh, many many times in the Quran inna 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 allah inna allah so for example and let's have a look at this ayah then where allah says inna allah wa malaikatahu uh yusalluna ala nabi yusalluna ala nabi Naam. So here we see Inna Allah and also the word Malaika would take a fatha because the emphasis is upon Allah and the Malaika. So we would say Inna Allah wa Malaika Tahu. Obviously the who here refers to Allah. In, indeed Allah and his angels yusalluna ala nabi naam so just showing you. um jade we also covered uh as abdul qayyum mentioned uh, la and we said la alla min akhawati inna so la is from the likes of inna let me see who's here. Uh, Abu Hamza, when we say, when I say uh, La Allah is from the likes of Inna, what do I mean by that? Um, um, it makes uh, uh, the Ism uh, Marfu. Mansub. So, sorry, Mansub. Naam. So, it, so we mentioned that, so for example, Inna. It makes the word that come, comes after it take a fatah. So la'alla and the other words which are from the likes of inna, they do the same actions. So remember we said la'alla tufid al-turajji, that it, the benefit of la'alla is that it, um, its benefit is that it gives the meaning of hope. So for example, we would say uh, La, so we would say La Allah Yarhamuni Yarhamuni Nam. So here we see Lafdul Jalala, the, the name of Allah, it takes a fatawai because of La Allah. La Allah is the same as Inna in regards to his actions. So uh, Abu Yusha. What would this sentence mean? La Allah Yarhamuni. 
I hope that Allah has mercy on me. Naam. I, I hope that Allah has mercy on me. Naam. La Allah. Also, which we didn't mention in the last lesson because I wanted to kind of keep it simple because it was the first lesson we were doing. And I didn't want to overload and overwhelm people. So we mentioned that La Allah, that its benefit is, we said, at Turaji, which gives the meaning of um, hope. Turaji. And it also gives the meaning of what we would call, uh, sorry, we would call it Ishfaq. Ishfaq. Maybe it's a. I think it's a common Asian name. Some people name their children Ishfaq. So Ishfaq, or this Ishtiaq probably. Okay, Ishfaq means like fear. So this word La'alla, it can give, it can have, it has two meanings. It has Turaji and it has Ishfaq. So it gives the meaning of hope or the meaning of fear. And Depending on its context, we would be able to understand which meaning, uh, which meaning it is intended. Uh, obviously, the the whatever the person intends by saying it is what it means. So, for example, if someone was to say "la uh, alla al for example, "maridun," "la alla al maridun." Now, so this could carry two meanings depending on the intention of the person saying it. So it could translate as it could translate as I hope the teacher is ill if you didn't want the teacher to come. Or it could translate as I fear that the teacher is ill or sick. So depending on your intention and the or the intention of the person saying it, which we would usually go if it has like a, a fearful meaning. Then we will go with the meaning of Ishfaq. And if it's something with a better meaning, then we would say Turaji. Naam. So, uh, so in this, obviously in this sentence, if we read this, we would automatically assume that its meaning is Ishfaq, that I fear the teacher's ill. Naam. Jeed. I hope so. Uh, also, we covered in the lesson uh, briefly. Yeah, we done. We done the meaning of "do." Uh, Can anybody explain to me what "do" means? Possessor of. No, we said "do" ma'nahu sahib, and sahib is like an owner or a possessor of. And when "do," um, see, it's here. Answer some questions. Nam Azan. When do comes before a word, what happens to it? So, for example, uh, if we was to say your name, Adan, Adanun, do Ilmin. So I uh, own Ilmin. No, it, it would it would it would it would translate as Adhan is he has knowledge basically. He's a he's a possessor or owner of knowledge now. He own he has knowledge. Now well, well my intention was what is do and what is ilm? Right. In the grammar. Oh it's uh uh mudaf mudaf that it's mudaf and mudaf and ilay. So we say the word that comes after do is always majroor. I take the kasra why? Because it's mudaf. Jade. Uh, so we went through a few of the exercises connecting the uh, the uh, detached pronouns to inna, where we said, for example, with, with this one, when we did inna yusawi, oh, inna zaidun huwa yusawi innahu, indeed he. Okay, so we'll carry on. So we reached less uh, exercise five. A tamrin al khamis. طيب قال المؤلف التمرين الخامس اقرأ الأمثلة الآتية. So read the following examples. 
طيب إلياس if you want to read the first one المدرس المدرس جديد نعم تفضل إن المدرس جديد نعم so what's the difference إلياس between these two sentences the first one does have إن the second one has إن that's very obvious but what's the what's what's what what change what changed in the sentence uh, right again but not what not exactly what we're looking for so yes yeah, so the first one is al mudarrisu as a dhamma and it changes to a fatha because of inna but what has changed in the meaning of the sentence as well oh. is giving giving emphasis no, it's given emphasis to the teacher. No. In al mudarrisa jadidun. No. If you wanted to stress the sentence, then you would put in the no. Jayid. Abdul Qayyum. Qara al thaniya. Fatima tu tabibatun. 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 Nam. Inna Fatima Tabibatun. Tabibatun. Nam. Inna Fatima is a student. La Tabiba. Ah, sorry. Um, um, doctor. A doctor, nam. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed, Fatima is a doctor. Nam. Jayid. Uh, who else is here? طيب أزان الثالثة حامد حامد متزوج نعم إن حامدا متزوج إن حامدا متزوج نعم أزان ما معنى إن حامدا متزوج Indeed حامد is married نعم إن حامدا متزوج he is married. Jamil. Uh, so we come to the exercise. A tamreen a sadis adhil inna. So adhil means number we done the verb uh dahala. What mama and a dahal what does dahala mean? To enter. All right. Huh? To enter. To enter, naam. So we would say Dahala Muhammadun al Bait. Muhammad entered the house. Adkhil means when you make something enter. So we would say, for example, Adkhala, uh, we would say Adkhala Khalidun ibnahu al bayt. So Khalid made his son go into the house. So here it says Adkhala, ad, sorry, Adkhil inna. So put inna ala al jumal al atiyati upon the following sentences. وَضْبِثْ أَوَاخِرَ الْكَلِمَاتِ And we have to write the endings of all the words. So for example, here we have Naam. Abu Yusha, if you want to do the first one. الدرسو صعبون. Naam. ما معنى الدرسو صعبون? The lesson is difficult. The lesson is difficult. Now, now أدخل إن على الجملة. It's nice to put inna before the sentence. Uh, inna darsa no. sa'abun. So we would write inna darsa, as you just said, sa'abun. Ma'ma'ana al-jumla? Verily, the, the lesson is hard, it's difficult. No. Verily, the lesson is difficult. No. So we had ad-darsu. Sa'abun, ad-darsu, sa'abun, and then we changed it because of inna, inna darsa sa'abun, inna darsa sa'abun. Naam, jayid. Ismail, al-thaniya. As-sayyaratu jameelatun. Naam, as-sayyaratu jameelatun. Naam, adkhil inna. نقول إن السيارة جميلة. نعم. نقول إن السيارة 
جميلة جميلة نعم الدرس سهل نعم the lesson's easy إن إن السيارة جميلة indeed the car is nice or beautiful جيد uh, who else we got here عبيد تفضل القرآن كتاب الله القرآن كتاب الله نعم كتاب مضاف الله مضاف إليه القرآن كتاب الله طيب أدخل إنا في بو... إنا at the beginning إن القرآن كتاب الله لا أجن إن القرآن كتاب الله جيد so I don't have space here so I'll write it in here so we'd say إن القرآن كتاب الله إن القرآن كتاب الله نعم ما معنى الجملة عبيد Indeed the Quran is the book of Allah جميل جيد uh, نعم قاسم تفضل Oh my brother isn't here today Oh so if you're not there, he's here. That's how you do it. Are you going to teach him what you missed earlier? Yes. Good, alhamdulillah. طيب عبد القيوم تفضل. محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله. نعم محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله. نعم أدخل إن إن محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله نعم جيد so again I'll write it here because the lack of space so we we'll say إن إن محمدا so we just had the ألف with the two فتحات إن محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله جيد الجملة واضحة انتيد محمد رزق مسجد الله جيد uh, Who else is there? Who wants to read? Raise your hand I don't really know who's here So if you want to read Just raise your hand um, Awais تفضل Is that Awais? Or is it Ilyas? Now if, you, if you, now I mean if you haven't read And you would like to read If you raise your hand And I'll just choose you Otherwise I'll just go with the ones who I know are here. طيب إلياس تفضل آمنة آمنة طالبة آمنة طالبة جيد أدخل إن 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 آمنة طالبة نعم إن آمنة طالبة إن آمنة طالبة جيد أبو يوشع السادسة اللغة العربية تو تو منعوت سهلة 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 اللغة العربية سهلة ما معنى الجملة؟ uh, the Arabic language is easy نعم صدقت نعم أدخل إن إن اللغة العربية سهلة نعم جيد إن اللغة إن اللغة اللغة العربية سهلة العربية سهلة نعم أبو يوشع Why did you why did you put al why did you say al lugata and then al arabiyata? Why does al arabiyata have a fatha as well? Shouldn't it just be on the first one? I think uh, they belong together. They're like one single. Uh... <laughs> you under I know you understand it, but you don't know the rule. You know yeah. the rule, but you don't remember the what the rule's called. Yeah, <laughs> you know that they belong together, so. 
They always look the same, same gender, Alif and Lam, Alif and Lam. So if that one takes a Fatha, the other one takes a Fatha. Takes a Kasra, that's got to take a Kasra. Uh, uh, can somebody help him out? Please. It's Manut wa Na'at. Na'at Manut. Na'am, it's Manut wa Na'at. Jaheed. Jazakallah khair. Flavats. Jameed, Jameed. Jaheed. Abu Hamza. Faddal al in هذه الساعة غالية in هذه الساعة غالية in هذه الساعة غالية ما معنى الجملة indeed this watch is uh, expensive جميل جيد Uh, who is Abu Sabur? Does Abu Sabur want to do one? Bilalun Raniyun. Nam Bilalun Raniyun. Inna Bilalan Raniyun. Nam in Bilalan in Bilalan Raniyun Raniyun Jade. Mamma and a jumla. So in Bilal is rich, indeed Bilal is rich. Nam in Bilalun in Bilalan Raniyun Jade. Untas. Five Ismail. المدير 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 في الفصل المدير في الفصل نعم أدخل إن إن المدير في الفصل نعم نفتح بعك وفتح المايك نعم إن المدير في الفصل نعم إن المدير في الفصل ما معنى الجملة The engineer is in the class. Ah, no, no. Engineer? The head teacher. Yeah. Um, head teacher, or it could be the principal or be the owner of a company. Um, in al mudira fil fasli. But indeed, the head teacher is in the classroom. Jade. Taib, Ilyas, al ma'u. Al ma'u baridun. Al ma'u baridun. Adkhil inna. In al ma'a baridun. نعم إن الماء بارد إن الماء بارد ما معنى الجملة؟ The water is cold. Indeed, the water is cold. جميل. طيب. Starting from the top, you say الدرس صعب إن الدرس صعب. السيارة جميلة. إن السيارة جميلة القرآن كتاب الله إن القرآن كتاب الله محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله إن محمدا صلى الله عليه وسلم رسول الله آمنة طالبة إن آمنة طالبة اللغة العربية سهلة إن اللغة العربية سهلة هذه الساعة غالية إن هذه الساعة غالية بلال غني إن بلالا غني المدير في الفصل إن المدير في الفصل الماء بارد إن الماء بارد Jade. So then, just here to re reiterate this point, he gives us this sentence: "Asayyaratu jamilatun." So the car is beautiful or nice, and then after adding "in" to the sentence, "in asayyarata jamilatun." So here, 
the author's clearly showing us that the difference between the two sentences is we change the dhamma to a fatha. So here, obviously, as sayyaratu, we call it the mubtada, and jamilatun is the khabar, the news, or the information about sayyara. And then once we add inna to the sentence, as sayyara becomes ism inna, and jamilatun becomes khabaru inna. Jamil. Any, any questions on that before we move on? You all get the point that when we add inna or la'alla in front of the, to the beginning of the sentence, then it makes the word take a fatha. Now, Jade. Now, is anyone is not, uh, is maybe a bit unclear on this? Then just speak now. Don't worry. If you're unclear on it, maybe someone else is unclear on it and they're too shy to ask. So just ask. No, Jade, we carry on then. Taiba, Tamreen as Sabir, Ta'amal al Mithalain. So take a look at the following two examples. Thumakowin Jumalan Mithlahuma. And then make sentences just like them from the following words. So here we have al mithalul awwal, the first example. Amin al Hindi anta am min Pakistana. So it would translate as it, what he's trying to show you is the construction of the sentence. Uh, in English, we would say, are you from India or Pakistan? So here we were saying, Amin al-Hindi anta am Pakistan. Because if we wanted to ask a normal question, for example, we would say, A anta min al-Hindi. A anta min al-Hindi. Are you from India? Well, when we want to use am or we're asking a question about are you from here or there or is it this or that, then we would we would we wouldn't say a anta min al Hindi am min Pakistan. Well, you can it makes sense obviously, but this is the best way to construct it. We would say a min al Hindi anta. Na anta min al Hindi, we say amin al Hindi anta amin Pakistana. And then he says at a mithal al Thani, second example, a tabibun anta am muhandisun. Are you a doctor or a student uh, or a, an engineer? A tabibun anta am muhandisun. Are you a doctor or an engineer? Yeah, because normally we would ask, Anta tabibun? Are you a doctor? So the point is, we have to con using these words here now in one, two, three, all the way down. Anta mujtahidun, and in Kaslan, we have to construct sentences just like these two using these. So, for example, let's go to uh, Abu Hamza. So obviously we got mujtahid, meaning hardworking, kaslan, lazy, anta. So how would you construct this sentence? I'm mujtahidun anta, I'm kaslan. Jayid. So you would say, I'm mujtahidun, I'm mujtahidun anta, I'm mujtahidun anta, I'm kaslanu. Am mujtahidun anta am kaslanu. Now, ma'am, and the jumla. Are you hardworking or lazy? Now, are you hardworking or lazy? Jayid. Taib, Elias, here, and this is a mistake here, obviously, this number one, it should be an alif before, <laughs> right there, right there, before. 
الصين جيد تفضل سو شو بي هي الصين اليابان امين الصين امين الصين هي امين اليابان جيد سو بي امين الصين هي ام من الياباني امين الصين هي سوري ام اليابان ام من اليابان ام من الصين هي ام الياباني Yeah, is it Amina Yaban? Amina Sini here, Am Al Yaban. Yeah, we would say Am Min Al Yaban. It would be okay if we say Am Al Yaban, but we would add Min Al Yaban. Okay. Um, better, it's more clearer. Amina Sini here, Am Min Al Yaban. Mam and Al Jumla? Is she from China? Or from Japan. Yeah. Is she from China or from Japan? Jade. Uh, Abdul Qayyum, Anta, oh sorry, it would be Anti Tabibatun Momarritatun. A Tabibatun Anti Am Momarritatun. جيد سوي الطبيبة أنت أم ممرضة الطبيبة أنت أم ممرضة نعم الطبيبة أنت أم ممرضة ما معنى الجملة Are you a doctor or nurse? You're a doctor or nurse. Who are you asking the question to? Is it a man or a woman? Female. It's a female. نعم جيد. نعم أبو يوشع هم نصارى يهود يهود أنا صار هم نعم جيد لا 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 جيد أنا صار هم صار هم أم يهود نعم أم يهود نعم أنا صار هم أم يهود نعم ممتاز ما معنى الجملة؟ uh, are they Christian or Jewish? نعم. Are they Christians or Jews? نعم. Okay. Okay. جيد. أنصارا هم أم يهود؟ جيد. Are they Christians or Jews? جيد. Uh, إسماعيل هذا مسجد مدرسة مسجد هذا أم مدرسة ممتاز مسجد هذا أم مدرسة ممتاز نعم ما معنى الجملة Is this a mosque or a school جيد Is this a mosque or a school مسجد هذا أم مدرسة جميل أزان هذه سيارة المدير وسيارة المدرس سيارة سيارة المدير هذه أم سيارة المدرس ممتاز السيارة المدير هذه أم سيارة so I'm just trying to keep up with you guys the writing أم سيارة المدرس نعم السيارة المدير هذه أم سيارة المدرس ممتاز أبو صبور أنت no let's have what's his name not قاسم عبيد أنت متزوج عزب أمتزوج أنت أم أم غزب أم و أمتزوج عزب أمتزوج أنت ممتاز أمتزوج أنت أم 
أم عزبون أم عزبون نعم ما معنى الجملة؟ Are you married or are you a B B Bachelor 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 Single نعم Are you married or are you a bachelor? A متزوج أنت أم عزب نعم so هنا كلمة جديدة a new word عزب نعم عزب Bachelor جيد أبو صبور هن خالاتك أو it could be خالاتك أو أماتك أو أماتك أحالاتك هن أم عماتك نعم أخالاتك هن أم عماتك أم عماتك نعم ما معنى الجملة؟ Are they your mom sisters or dad sisters? ما شاء الله very precise. So you would have paternal and maternal. Are they your paternal aunties or or maternal aunties? نعم خالات وعمات. نمبر خالات أخوات الأم وعمات أخوات الأبي. جيد uh, أبو حمزة هو باكستان إيران أمين باكستان هو أم من إيران نعم أمين باكستان هو أم من العيران من إيران أم من باكستان هو أم من إيران جيد ما معنى الجملة uh, Is he from Pakistan or from Iran جميل And the last one uh, أبو sorry uh, إلياس بيتك أو could be بيتك قريب بعيد قريب أم بعيد نعم أبيتك أبيتك أو أبيتك قريب أم بعيد أم بعيد جيد بعيد أبيتك قريب أم بعيد Um, Jayid, so what is left is that for you to, I'll give you some homework after, but I want to find some of these examples of this sentence construction in the, in the Quran. It's definitely there. Taib, so we'll do, we'll do another exercise. I, I think you'll agree that... Um, Yeah, book two. I mean, even the first lesson, I think, in book two has a, it has maybe like it has a lot of rules. You can see that um, it's stepped up a lot from book one. Book one, we just had a rule every couple of lessons, but here we have a couple of rules in every lesson. So we have to amal a tamreen. الثامن تأمل الأمثلة الآتية لذو so um, consider the following examples for ذو نعم uh, أبو صبور you want to read the first one مديرنا ذو قامة طويلة نعم مديرنا ذو قامة طويلة نعم some, sometimes the The words may be different in some of the other books. If that's the case, then if you can speak up so we can make mention of it. So, مديرنا ذو قامة طويلة. نعم جيد. ما معنى الجملة? Our head teacher has long legs. <laughs> long legs. ما معنى قامة? قامة. 
Or standing, sorry. Uh, Bridge uh, on. Bridge on is leg. Oh, yeah. So, so Qama would, would generally be like a, a structure or a, the stature of a person, his structure. So it's basically saying he's a tall man. Oh, okay. though he has a he has a tall, like you know, the frame of a person that they are tall, their body and their legs, etc. Now Mudiruna Dhu Qamatin Tawilatin. Our head teacher has a tall, you know, stand or structure. Or we can or we could say Dhu Qamatin Qasiratin. Or we could say Nam Jade. So the point is here was we're pointing out that Dhu that it is mudaf and then and the words that come after it they take a kasra why because they are mudaf and ili naam jayd abu hamza tafaddal athaniya hada daftaru dhu waraqin musattarin naam hada daftaru dhu waraqin musattarin jayd ma ma'na al jumla this notebook has lined uh, Pages. Naam. So waraq would be a paper, or in this context, would be like pages. Musattar would be lined. Naam. Musattar would be, let's say, lined paper. So this 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 notebook has lined paper. Musattar lined. Jade. Hada daftaru dhu waraqin musattarin naam. Uh, Abu Yusha Ahmad Talibun Do Ilmin Wahulukin Nam Ahmad Ahmadu Talibun Do Ilmin Wahulukin Jayid Maman Al Jumla Ahmad is a um, is a student that has knowledge and manners Nam Jayid Nam What's the point of knowledge? The manners. Allah must stand. Taib Ahmadu Taribun do Elmin Wahulukin. Ahmad is a student who has Elm, knowledge, and Khuruk manners. Khuruk. Nam Jayid. Uh, Man Elias, Fadal. Hadal Kamisu do Kumin Kasirin. Wada Kadu. Kummin. Tawilin. Naam. So, hadha al-qamisu dhu kummin asirin wa hadha al-qamis wa dhaka dhu kummin tawilin. Naam. Ma ma'na jumla? This shirt has short sleeves. Uh, that one has long sleeves. Naam. So, the word kum here, yeah, kum means sleeve. Leave. Sleeves. So come and the plural would be akmam. Akmamun. Akmam. Nam. Sleeve. So this had al qamis, this shirt, the kummin qasirin has short sleeves. Wadaka and that one has long sleeves. Jayid. Uh Rubaid. Fadal. Al-Masjid al-Ladhi fi hayyin zhu marra zhu manari zhu manaratin zhu manaratin wahidat Naam, jayid. Al-Masjid al-Ladhi fi hayyin zhu manaratin wahidatin Naam, ma ma'ana al-jumla? The Masjid which is in the district fi hayyin in no. our district in our area our district man has um has one minaret Nam. so which word is minaret manaratin Nam. manara minaret manaratin wahidatin the mosque that is in our area has one minaret jamil التمرين 
التاسع والأخير this last one because it's connected to this one anyway اقرأ الأمثلة ثم حول الجملة الآتية مثلها read the following examples and then change them into sentences just like them so we have what we're going to point out here are the plurals etc of the words so we have هذا الطالب ذو خلق so this student he has manners ذو is مفرد so it's singular then we have the, uh, so it's singular masculine مفرد مذكر then we have جمع مذكر so we have now we have plural masculine so we have هؤلاء الطلاب ذو خلق ذو so the plural of ذو would be ذو خلق so this student he has manners these students they have manners ذو خلق then we have مؤنث مفرد we have هذه الطالبة ذات خلق so this female student she has manners and then we have هؤلاء الطالبات ذوات خلق these female students they have manners so we have ذو ذو ذات and ذوات نعم Jade, is that understood? نعم. جيد. طيب عبد القيوم هذا الرجل ذو مال كثير. So now we have to change the sentence into plural. So we would say. هؤلاء الرجل. هؤلاء الرجال. Dao 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 Malin Malin Kathirin Nam. So be ha ula irrijalu Dao Malin Kathirin Jade. These men have a lot of money. Nam. Abu Hamza. So we, now we do هذه المرأة هذه مرأة مرأة ذات مال كثير نعم هذه المرأة ذات مال كثير ذات مال كثير جميل أحسنت إسماعيل and we have the plural of this sentence. So be ha ulai. An nisau. Nam ha ulai in nisau. The watu. Malin kathir. The watu. Malin kathir. Jameel. Can I say I'm pleasantly very surprised? Of, uh, I don't think anybody made a mistake in any of the the, uh, the exercises, apart from me and my writing. But mashallah, it's, I'm I'm quite shocked. Usually, I have students who make quite a few mistakes, which is good and normal. But mashallah, tabarakallah. Taib. So we'll stop there. We haven't finished book um, lesson one yet. Don't worry, we'll go through it steadily at a nice pace, inshallah. Three lessons a week, we'll, we'll go for inshallah. Taib, Halmin Su'al, any questions on what we've done? No. With the inna and la'alla, is there anything, are there any other sisters that belong to you? <laughs> Sister words that, that follow the same uh, structure. Yes, there are. Are there any that we know of, kind of already, that we use maybe? In... Yeah, that you use? Okay, or that you hear. <laughs> no, but that I might use. <laughs> yeah, the, the ones you hear, probably like Anna, 
وأن و... for example وأن المساجد لله فلا تدعوا مع الله أحدا وأن أن is one of them and there's a few others we we, we go through most of them in this uh, in the in this book anyway so إن شاء الله we have إن أن uh, لكن is one of them لكن but Yes, and we have a few others. Jade, Azan, any question from yourself? Actually, a question. <laughs> uh, in the exercise number seven, yeah, uh, the eighth, uh, the Hunna, uh, Hunna Khala, uh, Khala Tuki. I think it should be no. Why is it Tuka? It, it can be any. We don't know who we're talking to, so it could be Ka or Ki. All right. Okay, no, because it was Hunna, so I thought maybe it's female. Hence. No, no, the Hunna is referring to the Khalat and the Ammat, not okay. the person you're talking to. All right. Okay, got it. Um, okay, no. I, always, I always know you have a question somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, mashallah, it's good. <laughs> Bye. Any questions on that? In the last but one uh, uh, exercise, yeah. uh, Al Mar'a. Um, uh -huh. Can you also say uh, Imra? No. Um, as we explained in book one, here we go, Abu Hamza, we have the word Imra'atun Naam. Okay. So Imra'atun means a woman. But when we put Alif and Lam, the Alif of Imra'a uh, is taken away. So we, we're not allowed to say Al Imra'atu. In the Arabic language, we can't say al imraatu. That is khata. That is incorrect. We say imraatun, and when we put alif and lam on it, we say al maratu. Now, واضح. That clear? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Ahsant. Jayid. طيب. So we'll stop there. We we'll continue with the uh, our hadith. Lesson in a few minutes. هذا وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Pardon? Are we in the Quran on Wednesdays? I'll explain in a second.